I really pride myself in the fact that I am also working on my own YouTube channel. I think that's a um, an edge of how, what makes me different from other YouTube coaches because I I a lot of the coaches that I see their channel that they built is the channel that's about building YouTube channels. But there's no like, you know, where's your channel where you're talking about the hobby or right. the life experience or you know where it's you not helping anyone but it's like you and your story right so the problem that i run into is like there's so much of me sharing uncertainty on my vlog channel that it almost makes me second guess my capability as a coach so what i concluded today oh i'm filling you in too um is that the thing that you're creating, your creative endeavor is always going to evolve. Okay. You can go into it day one with like, this is, this is what I want to make a YouTube channel about. These are what I'm going to make videos about. And then something can come a new platform, a new revelation, a new person that you meet that changes the direction of your channel entirely where you have to reevaluate. And I think like what I'm realizing is that there is, that is going to be part of the process no matter what. And I like the fact that I'm sharing that. I'm, I'm owning that. Um, because before it was just like, oh, I, I feel like I'm trying to position myself as an expert, but I'm showing myself as an amateur here. And I feel like they're in clash, but, it, but it's, you know, I'll, I'll tell you what kind of inspired this. My accountability partner, Carissa, she has been an entrepreneur since she was a teenager. Like we've known each other. We grew up together. She's had several different businesses. She's now pivoting where she wants to position herself as a business coach. Okay. Um, the problem is her most successful business was a restaurant and it closed because of COVID. Uh, huge restaurant that she built from like her and her family built from scratch and I mean, just seeing the growth over the past 10 years was incredible. They moved to a new location two years ago and, you know, they just have had to close because of COVID. She's struggling with the same thing of like, who am I to be a business coach when my most successful business closed? But anyone who knows her wouldn't see her as like, oh yeah, you suck at business. Anything. Yeah, it's more of like, here's more experience that you've had to go through something very practical, like, um, you know, closing a business and learning how to pivot to a new thing that that perspective is super valuable to so many people, regardless of whether you're going to be at the same crossroads or not, that's still just going to give you more experience. So I've come to kind of appreciate me working through how I'm going to express myself and what my purpose is on my vlog channel, on my tutorial channel. It's super clear. If you want to know how to do YouTube, you want to share your story. Um, you know, you want to learn, uh, the, the non-camera tech and you know Canva and making thumbnails and all that. I'm I'm here for you, but in terms of like the story that I want to tell, I'm trying to get more clear in terms of like the message I want to leave when people are on that channel. Did I answer your question? <laughs> I think I kind of <laughs> lost my thoughts. No, that's cool. I I kind of wanted to understand more about your thought process. Again, it was another selfish question because I guess it's I know it's not exactly the same, but it's kind of similar to somebody wanting to maybe start YouTube or kind of also figuring out what path they want to take. I guess you are in a position where you have, I don't know, three to five years experience as well in that platform that you can mm -hmm. then take into that decision to say, actually, this is where I want it to go. Um, and again, from me, from my side, looking in and thinking, okay, well, I don't really know what I want to do, but I know I want to do something. And then I've got questions about the podcast and my own channel. It yeah. is, it's super valuable to me to hear your thought process and then where it ends up and you figuring out, you know, almost your niche or your purpose or what you're doing it for. So thanks for sharing. Yeah. That. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for asking. Cause now I, this is just reinforcing, like it's good. See, you never know where you're going to get feedback, right? <laughs> so this is where we have these conversations. It's good. <laughs> okay. Good. Yeah. I'm glad.